Hello, it's Luke Pelletieri from the Protax team, and today I'll be showing you how to add client letters in Protax, as well as how to edit said letters. To get started, I just wanted to quickly show you how it actually gets added in work papers before we add it to the return. So once you're in books to tax and you're in the work papers tab, you will see these four tabs. You select documents and you can see that you can add the documents here. If we go ahead and click add a letter, this is where we can add the letters that we want to add. So for example, let's add a notice to the reader. If we go ahead and add that and select add to documents, we will see once it's done uploading that we have a new folder with a letters tab. If we click this, it'll be a PDF copy of a notice to reader. To navigate to where you can edit letters in Protax, all you'll need to do is once you're in the Protax menu is select tax settings and then select the letters tab inside of tax settings. So here is all of the pre-made letter templates that you can add or edit. So when I showed you how to add the letter to work papers, this is where you can actually edit those letters. So let's take a look at the T1 client letter, for example. So as you can see, this is the pre-made template and there's a lot of weird boxes that are color coded pink. So these are variables, which means that it will automatically take whatever the variable is from the return itself. So for example, let's say here, we have prepared your T1 tax year. So that variable dictates that it's going to pull the tax year from the return itself. So for example, if it's a 2022 return or 2023, it'll say we have prepared your 2022 or it'll say we have prepared your 2023 income tax return. So that is how the variables work. And to be able to edit those variables, we just have to go back to letters. And beside view, we have a down arrow. And if we select customize, this is where we can actually customize the letter. So now that we are in the edit section of the letter, we can take a look and see all of the variables that would be related to the actual letter. So as this is a T1 client letter or a T1 tax summary letter, we have a bunch of T1 tax specific variables. So if I go down to T1 tax and select show more, as you can see, the variables are quite extensive. Um, I wouldn't really say there's anything that would be missing. As you can see, this list is, again, very extensive. So if you're taking a look at this letter and you want to completely redo it, let's remove all of this, for example. So this is empty. This is now empty. So let's say if I wanted to write dear Mr. And now we can select a variable that we can put after Mr. So let's go ahead and select the T1 client last name variable. So what that's going to do is it's going to automatically take the last name of the client in the return. So let's say, for example, if it's for Roger Smith, the last name will populate with Smith. So dear Mr. Smith, your refund amounts to. Now we can take a variable that will obtain the refund amount from the return itself. So if we go into the search variables search bar right at the top here and we search refund, as you can see, the variable for T1 refund shows up and we can just plop it right there. So now when it gets added to the return, it will actually take the refund amount from the return. So if you're happy with that, and you can of course change the name of the template right here. So we're just gonna, we'll keep it copy of T1 client letter. And once you're done with the template, you can go ahead and select save. Now that we've edited the T1 client letter to our liking, I'm going to show you how to actually add that to a return. So go into the return that you'd like to add a letter to. And at the top here, we can search for the name of the edited template. So I called mine copy of 
T1 client lender. So that's exactly what I'm going to search. So as you can see, it'll come up right away with add copy of T1 client letter. And once we add that, as you can see, it's not the default template anymore. It's the one that I created. And you can tell because I added the T1 client last name variable, which is fame. So that was added as well as the T1 refund amount, which is added right here. So your refund amounts to, and this is the value from the variable itself directly from the return onto the client letter. And that was how to add as well as edit client letters in ProTax. For more information on features on ProTax, please visit the link on screen, as well as our YouTube page where we have a playlist with other tutorials for ProTax. Thank you so much for watching.